Herzlich willkommen bei Weiner im Limit, liebe Freunde. Schön, dass ihr wieder dabei seid zu mehr Spaß im Glas. Hinter mir ist saint emilion Das ist so ein bisschen landeinwärts. Also die letzten Tage, ich war in der Côte de Bourg, ich war im Medoc. Jetzt bin ich landeinwärts. Ich bin in einem kleinen Weiler, der heißt Mondot oder Mondo. Mondo. Und äh, neben mir sitzt da ein ganz großer im Bordeleser Weingeschäft und ein, äh, ganz eine große Persönlichkeit. Das ist der Besitzer von Chateau Troblon Mondo, äh, ein äh, Grand Cru Classé. Und äh, das ist Javier Pariente. Uh, it's a very Spanish name and now we are speaking in English. Where does this name come from? Are you from the Rueda? Because I know there is some... No, I am, I, am, I am from... I, I like very much your introduction because you are very enthusiastic. And yeah. I like uh, <laughs> this kind of people, my friend, very <laughs> enthusiastic people. Oh, yeah, this is getting yes. cynical here now, yes, but okay. You are German, but I am <laughs> from origin Spain and it's uh, south of, 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 of Europe. And it was, I am a Mediterranean, but you like like a Mediterranean people. Uh, well, today, today I look like a yes, Mediterranean, we but have I'm a very good, still. We have a very good, uh, we have a very good dinner. So, uh, 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 we are both uh, from Mediterranean. Huh? Well, you are a little bit more from Mediterranean country and yes. I'm a little bit less, but let's say we are all from Europe and uh, hello, our friends from all other parts of the world. Yes. This is Europe speaking. Hello, Europe. <laughs> hello, Europe. Um, But uh, would, you, would you please, uh, Javier, uh, would you please uh, tell us a little bit about Trollomondo? Because the first wine I got acquainted from your estate was in 1992, which is a vintage. If you look in every vintage chart, everybody would say, like, I don't, don't buy 1992, they're past. Yes, no, but they are wrong. It's, yeah, uh, and it's my birthday date, 1992. So, <laughs> no, I am joking. <laughs> Uh, uh, so is this a, fra is a, fra is a French humor we are getting into here? Yes, no, it's not a French, it's not humor, it's, uh, <laughs> it's nothing. But uh, uh, 19, 1992, it's a very special. It, it happens very often uh, uh, the same thing with small, what we name small vintages in, in Bordeaux. Uh, small vintages are hidden. They, they, everybody wants to hide these vintages, but they are very in good estates with good mm. terroir as are very interesting uh, because they are seems the, the real life the real life mm. it's the life of today to work uh, f uh, uh, we do wines with uh, a lot of works it's uh, in opposite of outstanding wines 1992 it's not 1919 Because 1919 is outstanding vintage. It's something very incredible. It's the, like the O10 in Trollomondo or, 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 or O9. And the 1992, it's like the O1 or the O4. They are very special, very sophisticated, sophisticated uh, uh, vintages. They are uh, well balanced with uh, how, uh, our... Uh, there is a lot of people working for uh, uh, the this vintage because the, the, the climatology is, uh, w was special with uh, a uh, constant uh, struggle here yes they are you know, special a, it's mm -hmm. in opposite of the very outstanding wines we name in france the outstanding wines chaise long chaise, vin long. chaise long vintage we do nothing the nature make ah. works for us okay but like the 1992 they are home There are uh, uh, um, people working for for doing this. Okay, good. so when we do it, we'll, we'll taste a 2010, I will ask you about the chaise long. Another yes. thing is, I have a friend in South Africa, he always says like, uh, uh, certain vintages or certain grape varieties is like a brother, a younger brother or an older brother you have in prison. You don't want to talk about him, yes. but he's a nice guy. Yes, exactly, exactly. <laughs> it's a very nice guy. Very, yes, yes. It's and a very <laughs> so, but but what makes Troblon Mondo? How how did you come here eventually, and uh, why 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 did you fall in love with this place? Uh, I don't fall in of love. My life, it's a woman life. Okay. I don't fall in love with this place. I fall. So you in love. fall only in love with women? Oh yes. Okay. Yes, because for me, it's the most important. Before. What's so special about it then? Because my my wife is special. Okay. First and she's from here. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, she she is the first five generation of of uh, people owning Trollomondo, and uh, 50 years ago, uh, 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 both we we okay. we we bought Trollomondo to the rest of the family. Mm -hmm. But 
First, I was in love with my wife. It's okay, a so it's a family love. affair at first. Yes, yes. It's a great terroir in, but yes, in this area. Yes, we, we are in, in what, 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 the name of the terroir, it's La Côte Pavie. It's uh, uh, La Côte Pavie, we have the, the best, the best premier Grand Cru Classé de Saint-Emilion. It's, it's an outstanding uh, uh, place and terroir, very important. You know, in Saint-Emilion, we, 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 we make wine from the Romans. Mm -hmm. We have the, uh, uh, la Valle o, la, the Chateau Ozone, La Villa Ozone. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a, a very important place with people uh, working wine and living about uh, the, the culture of wine since two uh, uh, um, thousand uh, years. So this is where it all started, also in Bordeaux, in Bordigala, in those, yes, in those yes, days. Of and this is one Côte Pavie, which is like, say, basically here, right in front of us. It's yes. one of the nicest slices they've had. Yes. And so basically, that's that's you fall you fell not in love with this. It's more like something which is uh, dependent on uh, generations here. You are keeping it and you are you Yes, know, you are keeping it. Uh, Trollomondo is a very special place because it's a, a historical people uh, uh, place. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 at the 18th century, uh, Chateau Trollomondo was owned. It was not Chateau Trollomondo, it was Chateau Mondo. It was owned by Mr. De Cez. Mr. De Cez was the, uh, the lawyer of... Uh, uh, um, Come on, the, uh, qui a, uh, the, the, uh, the lawyer of, of King Louis XVI, okay. and after uh, King Louis XVI, King oui? yes, King Louis XVI, oh, König Ludwig the uh, yes, and <laughs> after <laughs> it was owned by the family Trollon, and they added they added the two names Trollon and Mondo. Mondo, uh -huh. it's 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 a place. Uh -huh. There is a lot of small uh, uh, estates. Who, 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 who was a adet Mondo in his name, and Mr. Trollon was a very famous uh, lawyer in uh, uh, working with Napoleon III, uh, our uh, second uh, uh, emperor. And uh, after uh, it was owned by the uh, at the beginning of the 20th century by the Valet family, and after for uh, with the Pariente family. But it's a really uh, uh, an important and historical uh, so place. So to, to understand that uh, we have been discussing this at dinner table, yes. Great Terroirs don't come by coincidence, they have been there for a long time. Yes. And Toblon Mondo is and one of those Ye Yes, uh, I have a theory uh, about the Great Terroir because the Great Terroir make only great vintages and the very old aging wines from only come, come only from Great Terroirs. You cannot uh, uh, drink uh, uh, 1928, 90, uh, 90, uh, uh, 29, 1945, uh, 1961 from small terroirs. The great terroirs make old edging and very great bottles. That's so it's a historical kind of yes, uh, yes, thing. Yes, yes, yes. Be but before we come to great terroirs, we uh, have a wine which you are serving here at your restaurant. Yes, it's, it's called uh, Chateau Marjos, it's uh, Entre de Mer, it's a uh, 2012. Uh, I guess it, I believe it must be a lot of Sauvignon Blanc in this. Yes, I have and sniffed uh, it before and I fell in love with it. It's a, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a vacation affair. I have yes, to say. exactly. It's a very fresh and it's, a, it's a very, uh, uh, it's a very fresh and it, it's a very spiritual uh, uh, um, wine. Like his honor, his honor is uh, uh, Pierre Lurton, who from Cheval Blanc. Yes, taking but care from Cheval Blanc. It's a very close friend and and he comes very oftenly because he he loves our table and he, he every time when he come home he he drink a lot and he, he eat a lot so i love him very much okay so in honor to him because i what i like about the concept about your restaurant yes uh, is is that you only serve uh, wines from this estate so you don't get involved with others no no except this one yes this one <laughs> and uh, and and uh, more louis other wine from Chate uh, valley de la loire okay but uh, it's a uh, I am. I have a sp very special uh, uh, sensation with people. I don't like to. It's a. It's a good friend. I. I think it's. You know what about uh, what I really like about this wine? It's not necessarily French wine in, in terms of when I sniff it. It has a lot of what I find in New Zealand. This kind of tropical, yes. uh, green, fresh, and very forward. And uh, that brings me to mind that Monsieur Lotton is a well-traveled man. Yes, he, he, he spent his time in, in a plane, 
perhaps uh, he, he can um, grow a vineyard in a plane. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> maybe, maybe, well, <laughs> I hope it, I hope it doesn't <laughs> look like that. No, but he's he's one of the um, one of the genius characters from from this area. And, uh, what I like about this wine, it's so precisely made with French knowledge, and or let's say French terroir and international knowledge. Yes, and he knows very really well about wine, Pierre. Yeah. And this is how and this wine tastes. Know so pure. How, how he, he make good wines? Uh, it's a, it's it's not a fantastic terroir, but it's a very interesting and it's a very fresh wine. And I am very happy to to. to uh, Monsieur Lotan, uh, s'il vous plaît, uh, yes. pas de problème. Yeah, uh, it's it's only because we are tasting wine here, yeah, but you're a professional. So uh, now we're coming to a wine which we. Sorry for, but I know it's a little bit of a. I hope it's okay to do it in front of a camera. Now we're coming to a wine. I was so. What's the devil? Uh, Which devil? Uh. Oh, no, but we had to uh, rinse the glasses. No, 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 no. It's no. okay. It's okay. Yes, it's okay. yes. yes. Okay. okay, but did I do something wrong? No, no, I, no, no, you do everything right. So far. So, Chateau Troblant Mondo, Premier Grand Cru Classé 2010. With this wine, you hit the nail. I mean, I, I follow this estate for many years, but to me, this wine, if, if you have questions about wine, um, drink this, and if you have questions afterwards, don't ask again. No, it's, it's a wine. It's a wine to 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 drink with friends, with with with, with your wife, with people you like. It's for for love talking. It's for uh, uh, for something very uh, spiritual. It's a it's a very it's an amazing vintage hotel in Trollomondo. It's uh, incredible. It's getting a little dark here now, so yes. we are really, I can feel this kind of Mediterranean kind of touch <laughs> here, you know. But if you can see the color, it's not changing. Very dark, it, uh, but it's uh, typical of Trollomondo. Uh -huh. Trollomondo makes every year very dark wines. It's a constitution of, of our souls who, who give us this, this type of colors. And uh, there is different uh, specificities of Trollomondo wine. It's for, for example, one other specificity, it's at the finishing of the testing, it's a very uh, licorice, yeah. c'est très, uh, and, uh, zon, very mental, very fresh. You find a lot of espresso, coffee beans, yes. uh, chocolatey, but, but it's not necessarily only from the oak, I can feel here there is a it, how, what is the average age of the wines? Must be very old here. Uh, the, uh, Do you know this by? Le, le l'âge moyen de, de vignoble est ah, uh, uh, 35 ans 35 years 35 years 35 years because it's a good pressure here yes we, we are a very young uh, vineyard uh, because we replanted, replanted a lot yeah. and we have a, a, a very special political of, of replantation in in Trollomondo. so you are planting closer probably yes we are seven hectares in organic and we have five horses for this organic mm. plantation and we have a very uh, uh, original um, way of planting because uh, we don't plant in parallel but one pl uh, uh, on, on cancons mm -hmm. one one yeah one, uh, one. like like an eight like an eight they yes. plant and it's to create more yes. uh, kind of an environment to uh, yes, to have more um, density it's it's a very old manner to plant, and uh, it's better for the, the sun, better for the, the the freshness, the hair, and 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 the and the roots mm. more more place to 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 the roots. It's a uh, very interesting, and uh, we have su very successful plantation. But Javier, this wine is uh, to me like wow. This is like it's. Uh, I'd, I'd, I'd wish I'd be old enough one day to to enjoy it in another thirty but, or forty years. But this uh, is. This, this is a youngster. We were discussing about that uh, one moment ago, and I know that uh, you come back with your wife and you, and you, and and, and, and your uh, uh, children, your um, daughter, uh, twice or three time in in uh, uh, per year, and every time we drink during twenty or thirty years, <laughs> we drink every time uh, uh, ten so you can have a, a yeah. long, long degustation together. Okay, so my recommendation goes out there. Okay, just buy three cases. The first one you drink, the second one you enjoy, the, th the third one you may sell somewhere. No, you drink it. Okay, you, okay. <laughs> you drink it. But this is a big wine. Hey guys, if you like a wine which is big, 
heavy and still has a lot of refinement and freshness to it. Um, this is a perfect example of a classic wine. Le, le grand terroir ne change pas. Non, le grand terroir, les grands terroirs existent et font des grands vins. Et les grands vins sont faits pour des gens comme vous mm. qui adorez les vins. Mm. Et ça, c'est important parce qu'avec vous, vous adorez les vins et vous les buvez. Oh. He has to drink it himself. No, I don't. I don't. I help. I help. I rather help you. Yes, yes. Thank you very much for uh, enjoying this. Uh, thank you for um, sharing uh, these ideas, especially about the Majors. I like about yes. uh, it's a it's a wine which is very good uh, if you if there's nothing else to drink. That's the right stuff. Yes. And if you really want to have something great, enjoy this. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye from Saint Emilion. And uh, here's a great restaurant here on the properties. Yeah. The Perdri. Le Belle Perdri. Le Belle Perdri. Le Belle Perdri. Come and visit uh, the yes, family. Yes, and, and uh, uh, I enjoy to uh, to, uh, to, uh, to come come to see us because for one time somebody comes to see us. <laughs> uh, uh, it was very. Uh, I am very pleased. It's not easy to find. Just Google it. Okay. <laughs> bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Anyway. <laughs>